Hello, my treasures. It's time for some undead fun with Unholy Vander Death Knight. As you can see, I've actually tried out a few different variants of the same deck, but Unholy seemed to be the most consistent. However, because the card pool is so small, you are going to have to run some cards that you normally wouldn't want to run if you are going to go down the pure Unholy route. This is probably going to be a deck that I want to revisit once we get the mini set. But until then, this is only missing one or two cards away from being actually really, really powerful. So let's begin with the Mulligan Guide. The, because this is a Vander deck, you of course are going to be looking for Vander in your opening hand. Outside of this, Plagued Grain is always a must keep in your open hand as this will allow you to have some of your corpse synergy online really, really quickly. Plague Strike is really good as an early game removal tool. Dark Transformation can act as an early game removal tool on turn four if you want to use it in combination with your hero power. But Icy Touch is a much better early game removal tool. Tome Guardians is also really nice to keep in your open hand if you have a way to generate a bunch of corpses. The same thing can be said about Army of the Dead. That will being said let's look at some game all right time for a game against mage oh not open hand that i want to start with uh it is what it is though we're gonna get rid of sire and Merogar. we could have actually kept sire because it could have oh that's actually a really nice top deck instead we could have ramped it up is what i was going to say there's four bodies for the price of one mana a drake fire amulet Let's just use Ghoul Charge. So they're probably big spell mage, which isn't too big of a shock. Oh, perfect. We have the Plague Strike for that. Anti-Magic Shell getting hit isn't the worst thing to get hit there. We get the 2-2 body. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I'll take another Plague Charge. Or I mean, Plague Strike. Might as well kill that. Get another 2-2 body. Just go face again. We'd be plaguing away again at their face. Oh, they're going to freeze out one of our minions. Uh, well, be a lot worse. We do have Army of the Dead, which is really, really nice. The Scourge. Interesting. Don't know if that's actually going to matter. Just going to put up two, two taunts. Oh, we should have actually used Army of the Dead, to be honest. Okay, okay. So they're going to kill our minions. That's Fine, we get the coin, which is really, really nice. We still have a 2-2... Two, two, oh, a 2-2-1's two, two up. We could kill... Now, we wouldn't have enough mana to use the Scourge right away. Army of the Dead is probably the safer bet here. Sure, it's going to get rid of our pool, but it could be really, really useful. I'm going to get rid of the 3-2. Maybe we can get rid of the other minion, too, and then just go face with the other two. Hopefully they don't have something like Blizzard or Deathborn. Deathborn would ruin our day. Okay, they're going to coin something out. Oh, Dawngrass. Interesting. Doesn't really do too much for them. I don't actually think it does anything for them. Oh, they're just going to coin out. Okay, they're going to get the honorable kill. Too bad our board is actually full of little zombies. Oh, that is interesting. Have no corpses to give them reborn, but we can give them protection from their hero power, which is really, really nice. I'm actually kind of curious of how this would work if they put down a Reckless Apprentice. Would it just not be able to target any of our minions? Because that would be funny. I don't know exactly how that works. Oh, they're going to freeze out our board. Okay, okay, so they can only hit our face. Uh, that's not going to do that much for you, my friend. Okay, we have... Oh. <laughs> now, that is a funny top deck. We we don't really have a use of it right now. Just want to evolve this zombie, get rid of the 3-3. Three, three. Maybe they'll get rid of the, our entire board next turn. Then we can just use Sire and wipe them out. Though Sire has been nerfed, so actually I don't think that's going to work. Well, they're not going to be able to clear out enough of our board, I don't think. Let's just go face. Wait, are we going to have perfect lethal? Well, it's been a while. Sire for victory. Hey, okay, time for a game against Mage. Huh, I wonder if it actually is Mage or not. Okay, this opening hand is not something I want to keep. I don't think anything here. Graveyard shift could be funny, but I think the other two need to go. Yeah, let's just get rid of all three. There's Icy Touch. Doesn't actually 
do anything right now. Good for later. Oh, I'm just going to hero power. Go face. Ah, rogue. <laughs> the chances of it actually being mage were much lower than it being rogue. Oh, Plague Drain is nice as a top deck. Then we can just hero power. Go face. They draw two, summon a three. Mm -hmm. That is not a minion that I want to see right now. Oh, we actually have a response, don't we? We can, can hero power, hit their minion, summon a two, two. Dealing with that's going to be a little bit annoying since we already used our early game removal. Um, we actually, it depends. We do have four damage. If they attack into one of our minions, we can basically guarantee it. Then we're going to get some corpses and they're probably not going to be able to deal with the corpses. Well, they did attack into that, so that's fine. Alistair or whatever. Oh, Vander. Now, do we want to put down Vander? Yeah, let's just put down Vander. Then shuffle these into the deck. We're at 13 corpses. We're not far behind, so I don't mind just putting down Vander on turn 5. The Possessifier probably would have been the smarter play in the long run. But we can make this work too. Oh, there's one of the green. And the Scourge. Okay, interesting. I actually thought about running like an elemental death knight deck using scourge as the top end along with uh, the sunwell to always generate a nine cost card uh, i can't remember <laughs> what nine cost minions that exist in standard hearthstone right now i need to look that over because that might be a fun little idea to try out in the future we shall see there's so many decks that we're probably going to rotate out before I even get the chance to with Death Knight. Ooh, Talion doesn't do anything. We're at 19 corpses. Which means Marilgar next turn is going to be huge. Might as well hero power, right? We could also use Corpse Bride. Let's just hero power. That gets us up to 21 corpses. What does Talion... Talion generates us... Stitch Golem, I think. I swear there's an R8 cost card that it does. Okay, so they're going to get rid of our minion. We're going to draw Skitch or Sket. Oh, Sire. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. I forgot Sire was in the deck for a second. I don't know why. Now, Bone Storm. Now, that's one wide board of bones. Unless they have an answer, they're pretty boned here. What other bone puns can I use? Oh no. These don't have... Uh, well, yeah. That could have been a lot worse. Queen of Jara doesn't... Doesn't really do much, right? Oh, Horn of Ancient could do something. Yeah, that could... Oh, well... That could have been a lot worse. I don't know if we win next turn. I'm pretty sure they are just boned. But... <laughs> We shall see, I guess. They bounce that back. They're not going to be able to use it this turn. Oh, fool's funny. Well, it's going to be time to marrow their bone. Let's just put Sire down, see if we went through that. We didn't, but still funny. Okay, time for a game against Hunter. Oh, the Scourge. We never want to start with the Scourge, but it is interesting. Alien actually is something that I might want to consider keeping too. We're going to keep one of the Graveyard Shifts, mainly because it gives us some type of... Oh, perfect. Not, not, not perfect. Uh, Plague, Plague Grain is great. The other two I'd rather have in the deck though. Okay, we're just going to use this. Might as well. Steady shot. Um, well, let's just go face. We can kill it next turn using the coin plus a plague strike if we really wanted, or we could just plague strike and then kill it. There's a few options that we actually have. Oh, we could also use graveyard shift. It doesn't have rush. It's kind of weird that it doesn't have rush, and that changes plans completely. Okay, so let's use plague strike. Kill the one two, so we don't have to deal with it. 
Then we can coin this out, kill that, kill it again. Probably should have used Icy Touch, but that still works. So the Cleared Out or Board, oh, Corpse Bride, actually could be really interesting for a following turn. Let's just do this, though. This should give us some more bodies. Then we can get a 10-10 for the price of, oh, well, a 14-14, actually. Okay, okay. So, oh, it won't be a 14-14 because they don't have Rush for some stupid reason. Uh, that is a little bit of a pain. Oh, well, we can just eat everything up. Get a 9-9. They're probably not going to have an answer for it, I would assume. They could use some shock spitters, I guess. Okay, so they're probably going to get another shock spitter from their deck. So the selective breeder. Devaluing Swarm actually is really, really interesting in a lot of different builds. I almost wanted to consider it in the Undead Hunter deck that I put out. Ended up not using it. I can't remember why. There was probably a reason why I didn't. Probably just space. We're just going to go face. We, well, oh, that's interesting. Can draw three. I think drawing three is probably the best solution. And I'm going to rush a little bit earlier. But that's still fine. We're just going to rush the face and hope that they don't have a shit ton of shock spitters, which they probably do at this point. Okay. Oh, army of the no army of the dead doesn't do anything because we don't have enough corpses. What else can we do here? We're going to be at seven mana. Oh, devouring swarm number two. Hate to see it. Oh, that actually helps quite a bit. Actually, going to hit the one one. No, they're going to hit nothing. Okay. Army of the dead doesn't really do much. Going to get that. Kill one of these, use the charge, kill a second one. I probably should use the Possessifier, yeah. There's the second Hydra. We do have Army of the Dead to clear this out again. Now, do we want to use Army of the Dead to clear it out? Well, that... Bander, you're a little bit too late, my friend. I think we have 90% of the minions in our deck in our hand, or we've already played them. Okay, we have 10 corpses. Um, hmm. Let's put down Merogar because his adds at least do... Oh, those aren't as big as I had hoped. Yeah, we can still make them work, though. Okay, okay. Do they have anything that can actually deal with this board? Even if they do, we do have Sire in hand. We do need to survive so we can play Sire for the heal. But if we can... Oh no. And that is not something I want to see right now. Wait, are they actually... Okay. <laughs> That's fine by me if they target that. Okay, how do we want to do this? We have 9 mana. There's the grain. Doesn't really do anything because it doesn't have rush. You can see what we randomly generate. I think cool. No, no, we do not have anything cool. Wait, <laughs> we do have lethal here, I think. Yeah, excellent. Okay, time for a game against Death Knight. I'm uh, if it's that portrait, I'm assuming there probably are Death Knight. I mean, they could be rogue. Death Knight is common, though. I don't know if there's anything in this open hand I really, really want to keep. We can actually keep Dark Transformation, I guess. That Oh, eh. out of all the minions it could have been, that's probably one of the better ones to have in the opening hand, but I still would have preferred not to. Also, finding space for something like Battleground Battlemaster might have been a little bit interesting in this deck, because if you can get a lot of your really big minions off really, really quickly, you could just do a shit ton of damage. I may or may not try to look for a good replay of the rainbow version of this deck, just to make a short out of it. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. It also depends on what type of buffs and nerfs that we're actually going to see. I didn't want to do anything with Frost DK because I'm assuming it is at the top of the boards of wanting to get nerfed out of all the Death Knight decks, I should say. And I think Unholy was the safest bet. 
I'm just hoping that decision doesn't backfire. Here's the dual charge. It's gonna hit our face. Plague grain. I love when you see it this early on. Honestly, one of the only reasons why I wanted to keep doing a pure unholy variant is plague grain and marrowgar. Plague grain moved to two unholy. I think wouldn't break anything. Could make it a lot more interesting. I don't know if they'd ever want to do that. Or just give the stupid zombies rush whenever they are played. Now, we can get a 7-7. Seven, seven. Let's actually do that. I'm hoping that they don't have anything to remove the 7-7, seven, seven, but you never know they are Frost DK. Okay, there's school Charge. Frost Strike. Oh, well, they did get rid of the 4-4. Four, four. Okay, okay, we still have the 7-7. Seven, seven. This is a perfect example of why I would want a Battleground Battlemaster. Don't think we really need it. Let's just put down the 8-8. Eight, eight. We're actually not in the worst position in the world. Though they they could, in theory, have a lot of damage in their hand. Oh, if they're calling something on 7, yeah, of course it's going to be that. Still shocked that we didn't get Cindergosa or any other dragons in the base set of Death Knight. I would have assumed that we might have. Would have been cool to maybe have, you know, Kazakazan Death Knight. We can just play strike that. Okay, okay. We have a pretty wide board. They could freeze out our board again, which is going to be a little bit annoying if they do. And they, they definitely are going to do it. How do we want to do this? Well, those aren't undead. I I actually did not realize they were not undead. You can do two damage there. Oh. Okay, so we we need, I think, two deaths for two to three for the disguise, right? I'm gonna kill that. That's not enough. Hmm. Well, we can just place this down, get a little bit more armor. Steal some HP, and then evolve everything, I guess? Uh, why can't I ever have this luck when I'm actually playing Evolve Shaman? Good old Lokalar. Doesn't matter the game mode he's in, he's a pure nightmare. Actually, has he ever been in Battlegrounds? If he's been in Battlegrounds, I don't know if he's... Oh, he's no taunts. Oh, actually one taunt we can deal with. Oh, Marogar. So, oh, and we have enough mana for America. Come on. We just need to buff up something to a 5-5. Five, five. And there we go. And now we just... A local R on their face. I don't know where I was going with that. All right, now that we're through the games, let's discuss my final thoughts of the deck. Overall, this deck was all right. It was just missing a card or two. To be honest, Vander right now for Death Knight is probably not a card that you're going to want to use. Mainly because pure Death Knight lists don't really have that big of a card pool as it currently stands. However, if you tried something a little bit more unique, like a Rainbow Vander deck, you don't really have any late game threats, which is the main problem with those variants. Which is kind of the opposite problem of the pure Death Knight list using Vander. However, if you do want to try out the Rainbow version, I'll leave that one down below too. Either way, I don't really want to recommend this deck. The only advantage that this deck has over some other Death Knight decks is the fact that no one's going to expect Vander in Death Knight right now. But sadly, I don't think that is a big enough reason to actually want to recommend it. And like always, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, bye-bye.